Well, as, as Carlos mentioned, uh, the, the whole team was working like a lot in the in the back end. And well, I'm, I'm just showing here uh, some visible changes. Um, and also, thanks a lot. Uh, and this work was from, from Sabi and the rest of the UX team. So I'm just the, the messenger here. Um, I prepared this um, this presentation, this demo. Uh, in the left side, we have a 4.3 site. And in the right side, uh, there is a, a site uh, with the main brands and a couple of commits on top. Some of them are already integrated and the rest will be will be there also soon. So we we can see here now the, the main differences that, for example, now uh, instead of having the the activity cards, we are moved we're moving to the section card. So this will be <clears throat> helpful for for the future hierarchy. And we can also see the, the new icons uh, here. So yeah, super cool. And and yeah. This is uh, this is uh, the the view without the editing mode, and and the main differences here um, in this uh, part of the project is uh, if you uh, enable the edit mode, this um, there are more differences, so you are um, aware that that you are in in editing mode. So, for example, if I can uh, go edit in in both sides, here you can see that the separators are different. So there's no no differences about the functionality. So uh, if I go here in the previous version to add an activity, it's just the same as the new one. So no differences about functionality, but they are in the UI. Um, main things. So these plus icons are now because there are no cars now. There are there are separators with the, with the plus icon working as as before. Uh, this button is uh, uh, replaced with with this smaller one, and also this button to add topics between. Sorry, yeah, well, to add topics between section between between them, is it was replaced also with a with a separator here between section that is super nice, and but well, it mentioned that uh, uh, at the bottom of the course you you, you will have uh, this this big button to add uh, sections. The functionality. As we as said before, it's nothing new, so it's working as before. So you can add sections and it will work exactly as before. Um, cool thing is, uh, for example, now if you collapse all sections, you will be able also to add section in between. So that's that's a nice addition. And and well, also mentioned that uh, well, if you go through Kbot, it would work like. Uh, Perfectly, so it's, it's fine. And last thing to show: um, if you go to a section, uh, you can. This is this is nothing new, but um, you can go to to section page, and uh, it will work uh, the same. So you can add uh, modules between sections, uh, between activities, and at the end of the session, and bulk actions will will also work the same you can move things around as as before so um, nothing nothing new about functionality but 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 yeah um there was an amazing job for the ux team and that's it i'm Ferrandecio, the technical architect from educational solutions and i work mostly with mopis team and in this case uh mopis team has a weird project that um, will end up uh, having two releases on its back. So it's, it's usually happens with these kinds of project that we implement many small things that are quite abstract and it's easy to lose the North Star that guides the project. So now it's time to show a bit what it's all about, all the changes that we are presenting on the previous sprint demos. So this is an instance that has everything that it's on going now, and even the alpha version of the Motsu plugin, I sub subsection, which it's the final feature we want to incorporate in Moodle. So this is the new course uh, aspect. So with the new icons, the new um, cards, etc. The first thing that it's noticeable is that the focus point of the course page, it's not 
it's moved from the activity card itself to the section. So we are giving more importance to section than to activities, and that is not random. It's not casual. It came from the from the uh, UX perspective uh, analysis, and and it's consistent with the future subsections. So all the icons are moved and everything. So it happens the same with the edit mode, where all the stuff has been reshaped to be less intrusive for the user are more obvious in some cases, like the disappearing things now are more obvious where we'll go and the at activity mode chooser, it's more, more whitish and more clean in general. So everything it's, looks cleaner because we are preparing the Moodle for having subsection. So what is a subsection in the end? Subsection will be a new kind of activity that can be tested right now because it's public in, in GitHub, but it's not meant to be used yet because there are many aspects of Moodle that are not prepared to have subsection. So that will be the all the issues from the next release will be to prepare the ITO to make it work as a real subsection. But in this case, we have a course with some sections on it. And there are a couple of activities that are from the icon you cannot recognize is this one and the other is this one. Those are subsections. So this is an instance with an, a special plugin called mod subsection in it. When, as I can see, there's uh, only four sections in this course and I go inside. This will go straight to the new section page we created in 4.4. It was not casual as the rest of the things. So the idea is to let core have always a, a section page on its own. So we don't depend on showing all the course. This is something that it's on Moodle since forever, that to show a section, you need to show a course page and now it's not anymore. This is a special page that it's only for section display. And we have all the logic embed here. And then the, the subsection itself can, or the activity itself, because this section depends on an activity, it can replaces all the action menus using the activity one. So it's not editing the section per se, but it's editing the, the, the activity. <clears throat> And all the uh, and those activities here are not displayed in the course index because the course index is not yet ready for subsections. But the 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 course page is not listing all the delegated sections, which means the sections that are inside the subsection. So it's not represented here, but they are all on the course in the end, but in delegated sections. And we accomplish quite a few things in this release. For example, we start wondering what happens if I drag things directly into a subsection. So this is working. We can go in and out of the subsection, but we also prevent looping because this is a subsection and this is another subsection and we don't want to the user to create loops and complex structures. We only want one level of subsection. So if I try to drag a subsection directly on its own content, it's not doing anything. If I drop it, it won't do a uh, thing. And the same happened with any other subsections. So we add extra controls to the drag and drop to have more fine grain on what we want to accomplish there. And there are many things going under the curtain on that project, like uh, syn syn synchronizing the section names with the activity names and and all this stuff, we also uh, find out that the users don't use the self-numbering section. So now everything is more named as section. So we stop using the, the word topics for sections and we create new sections as a new section. So that is a huge and probably unexpected change for many of you. And this is all about this release. We have many, many changes going on and the next version, the 4.5, should be the one that will bring subsections as it is designed from the UX team. But uh, we want to show you how it is right now. So we have a plugin that can be used, but it has many things that are still not adapted, but it's working more or less.
So that's me.